Hey guys, Brendan New Productions here. Uh, how are you all today? Good, good. Uh, if you just talk to your computer, um, that's a little strange. But anyway, uh, I've been getting a lot of requests via personal message and email, uh, and a lot of people want to know how to create games in Java. Uh, because maybe they want to create a game for Android development, or maybe they just want to create a game because they want to create a game. But Java games are actually pretty simple to create, and they're awesome because they can run both on the desktop and uh, in the web browser. Now, I'm not that experienced making games. I've worked on a few different projects, but um, and right now I'm actually working on a fairly large project, but I've never done anything like of gigantic scale. I'm... Um, this is really not really a tutorial video, but this is going to be a more introduction uh, to the pro uh, game programming with Java series. So I'm just going to show off a uh, little bit of things, or a little bit of things, a little bit of what I have programmed in uh, as games in Java. So here we go. The first thing I'm going to showcase is actually uh, my Conway's Game of Life. Conway's Game of Life is a little... Um, thing that shows evolution or it's supposed to depict evolution in cells and um, this is sort of a game but it was created in Java in an applet form so what you do is you just draw little blocks and uh, whoops and with these blocks you can watch them evolve when you press start so we've got statistics about how many are alive currently how many have died what generation we're on how many have been born and we get to watch this really cool animation take place. We can also stop the movement, clear the board, and press randomize to get a completely random uh, set of cells. So that's one version of something you can do uh, with this game style programming in Java. Um, I've also created this little thing which is actually a little physics engine um, we've got a block here and we can actually activate its gravity Oh, apparently it didn't want to load that time but we can actually activate its gravity by simply dragging and dropping the object and uh, moving it around so this is pretty cool um, as you can see it's actually running a little slow right now there are a lot of bugs I still need to fix with this thing but for the time being it works pretty well as you can see, if you drag the block, it erases. But that doesn't matter. Whoa. And apparently it froze. But so that's one example, or another example of something you can do. Um, one other thing I've done in applets is I've created a demonstration of the different methods of sorting in Java. So I'm just going to show you that. We've got merge sort. So what this is going to do is take. Um, these random blocks and put them in order from darkest color to lightest color. We've got selection sort and we've got insertion sort. And some statistics about each sort when we finish. I've also made this small tower defense game um, which what you do is you set up towers let's refresh it, uh, you set up towers by clicking and this little red thing is called your nexus. It's your little um, base. And enemies will continue to spawn and constantly want to destroy your nexus, and you need to place towers in order to destroy them. This was more or less just a um, tiny little test project to test out artificial intelligence, and it worked out OK. Um, as you can see here, eventually the guys actually learn to go around the towers. So you have to set up multiple towers in order to kind of trick them into walking into them. So the towers are the squares and these circles are actually your radius where they can shoot into. So obviously there's a problem because once you have enough towers they can't really get by anymore unless they start stacking up. But this was just a little test, not really anything uh, serious. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. And for my last demonstration is something I've actually created a while ago. It's actually a clock. Um, so you can press auto. 
or type auto, and then you can actually view the current time uh, as a clock. So all four, four, five of these applets are actually examples of game style programming. So that was just really to spark your imagination of what you can do for a game. Now there's also different things that you can do, like for example you can create a nice little game where you, a platform game, where you run through levels and um, yeah, you run through levels and stuff like that. I've actually started working on a platform game and I've worked on a level editor, so what we've got here is a level editor where you can simply uh, start drawing levels if it ever loads which I don't know if it, okay so you can actually start drawing levels and um, yes and then you can switch blocks with the arrow key so we can get some spikes going and um, then once this is actually part of the large scale project that I'm working on so once that's complete um, a thing will actually spawn and you'll have to traverse the uh, the level. So yeah, these are just some small examples of things you can do with applets in Java. Um, overall, applets are really fun to do because of the interactivity of it and uh, you can draw stuff and really interact with your audience. So what I'm going to actually be doing is in the next few tutorials I'm going to get started and make a game with you guys. The only problem is, I don't know what type of game you guys want me to create. Do you want me to create a tower defense game in this tutorial? Or a platform type game in this tutorial? So go ahead and leave what type of game you would like to see me create in the uh, comments, and then I'll create various tutorials on how to get started with the game, how to add certain features, and all that. So, thanks for watching this video. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see Java game programming tutorials, or... I'm not really the best game programmer, so they're probably going to be pretty poor tutorials, but they'll give you a basic idea. So just make sure you leave a comment on what type of game you would like to see created, and uh, we'll see if we can get started with that. All right, so thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, have a fan or not really tutorial, this announcement video. Thanks for uh, have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.